Hi Pisces, this is your June 2020 tarot forecast. So this is for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I did decide, I'm just going to add Venus to my readings for anyone who's cross-watching their Sun, Moon, Rising, because Venus is all about what we love and what we want to attract. So I do think it's important to include that. Obviously, this is up late, so I want to thank you all for your patience and um, explain to you that I needed some time off that I didn't even know I needed, so it was all very sudden to me. I just needed a break, <laughs> um, but I'm back, so thanks for sticking around, and I hope you enjoy your reading all the same. So, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, what do you need to know for June 2020? Messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for June 2020. All right, guys, so I am just gonna be using the single deck today. I, However much I enjoy doing a double layer, <clears throat> so two tarot decks and a Celtic cross for you, I really love that. But it takes a lot of time, and these are supposed to be 20 minutes long. That being said, if you really like that um, reading style, you can always get a private reading with me, and I will use layer upon layer of tarot decks for you um, to qualify information for you. And certainly if there's something here in the reading today that I'm not understanding or looks um, like it's out of place <clears throat> in the story that's being told here, we will go ahead and absolutely uh, take a look at that. I want to just mention here how strong this really beautiful pentacle ener energy is for you in the month of June, guys, is particularly at the beginning. Um, we're about through the first week here, as you know, uh, but you know, really nice, strong pentacle energy, maybe even some entrepreneurship, going into business for yourself, back to work, feeling on top of things, maybe being in the spotlight, working for yourself. Um, if, for, if, if not that directly, definitely promoting yourself, you know, promoting your talents and your gifts. You know, having someone really close to you, uh, having a reunion, a really old friend here, maybe even a childhood dream could be important. Here in your near future, I would say by the end of the second week, we have this Ten of Swords, which is nice. Let's just get rid of it. This is, this is overkill, right? Ten of Swords is always going to feel like overkill, but all the tens are really just saying, look, a new cycle can begin now. So I would say by the beginning of the third week of June for you guys, you can maybe wipe um, say your, your, your mind clean. Okay. You can might wipe the fears and the, and the negativity and, and the concern, the anxiety, you can wipe that away because this is all over with. You can start afresh, um, with a sense of clarity, absolutely stunning. You might even be moving. Um, a move could be, uh, in the works for you. Some really nice creative potential, creative projects, maybe even a child. Um, wow, look at that. The fool. <laughs> as your outcome. Holy smokes. I mean, honestly, right? Like I said, yeah, I didn't, I didn't think I'd see the fool for you uh, as your advice card, but yeah, no, you're over this. This is, this is, you can leave this in the past, firmly in the past. This isn't even keeping you up at night anymore, trust me. And now you're just like, I'm ready. Here I am. I'm moving on. All this potential, all this greatness, bringing it to the fore. And look at this, guys. You don't only have the queen, You've got the king. So this could be a love reading for you, Pisces. If that's the case, this could be a couple. Um, this, these are fire sign individuals. This is a Leo. This is a Sagittarius. Um, sorry, Leo and Aries individual. Um, you could be dealing with a younger earth sign that is Taurus, um, Virgo, or Aquarius. Just some other personalities you might be dealing with here as well. Um, is We have some Saturn energy here. Um, Saturn energy with the world, so which is, you know, um, restrictions and limitations. So you could be coming to terms with something within the real world, within your own personal potential and avenues of balance and equilibrium here with these two sixes, right? Definitely something being balanced, hard work, entrepreneurship. Um, nonetheless, let's get back to these guys. So the, at, the, at the foundation is the queen. We'll look at her, her in just a moment in detail, um, but the king. Right, bottom of the deck, which is what I consider all of this 
you know, this story is sitting in the basket of and uh, really stunning. You could be dealing with a Leo individual, okay? So, or Leo energy, fifth house energy. And of course that's creative success. That is being in the spotlight. That is um, creativity, romance. This is affection. This is truth, honesty. Um, but again, we're looking at a lot of, you know, spiritual advancement and there could be advances in career, um, uh, financial, say payouts. Um, you could be getting a lot of money. You could be getting an inheritance. Um, you could be winning something, um, but there could be a lot of money or even monetary success here, including heirlooms and financial windfalls. <laughs> so no big deal, just some greatness going on here for you. Right at the center is our situation and what's crossing it for you in June. Um, and again, nice, strong, really down to earth energy. Here's, you know, your finances, your health, your sense of service. And um, yeah, this is, you know, um, apprentice energy. You're really good at something. You can apply your skill set here and really deciding which, which way you want to go. Perhaps you're back to work here or you want to go back to work in a position where you're already good at something, even though you might have something else in your mind and you want to try something new, maybe even go to, into business for yourself. Um, or promote yourself here so who knows but you know you're not miserable here so this is nice and it's a lot of stability a lot of sturdiness and um, a lot of practical skills here so no matter what that you're working on here it's not a misery that's for sure you're pretty happy and proud of what you are capable of but you might take these skills and promote yourself um, in a different area and that could just be using the same skills for a different um, business or um, employment environment right? If that isn't exactly working for yourself. Here in the foundation is this queen, right? So we have some Aries energy here, uh, you know, first house energy, which is really nice. And this is self-promotion. This is entrepreneurship. And the queens really speak to a sense of nurturing, right? Receptivity, nurturing, um, you know, balance. But the cool thing about what I find this individual is nurturing is their, their sense of um, what they have to offer and not just in work, not just in terms of service. Remember, this is Aries, not Virgo. Virgo is like, how can I help and, and, and what can I needle away with at? You know, Aries entrepreneurial sort of self-directed pioneering energy is what can I start first? What can I start? So really glorious energy, right? Remember, you have this really self, um, propelling energy and uh, self-actualization could be a major theme for you here as well. Here in your recent past is the Six of Cups. It's always a, it's a sweet card, really. There's nothing terribly wrong with the Six. It could mean that there's a longing for something, but you know what? You're gonna be longing for the end of, you know, um, a little bit of a hardship here. So this is normal. The Six of Cups here in your recent past is it could just be a reunion as well. Your heart, um, is finally with the other person who um, whose heart beats the same as yours. Um, this could have to do with someone who's very, very close to you, either a child, um, sister, or brother, someone who, you know, whose childhood is very, very um, similar to yours or uh, very important to yours. Um, and it could just be friends from the past or someone from your past you were in a relationship with. Um, here in the what's crowning you position is the six of pentacles so six here right balance affection and here we're looking at you know the balance and um, um, fairness involved with the practical the practical world so this is giving and receiving in a fair and equitable way again really nice strong pentacle energy here guys absolutely beautiful to see you are probably getting perhaps more than you had expected for I find when I see the Six of Pentacles, it's like you feel like you're not doing too much because it's very natural to you, but to the other person, it's very important. And and they're, you're, you're going to feel, feel the same way about what they're doing. They're going to feel like it's not a big deal, but it means everything to you. And this is the beautiful thing about the equilibrium here in a practical sense, which is you're offering each other gifts that you can't really just go buy or get anywhere else and that you current oops and that or that you currently don't have yourself but it's very precious to you and it's very important to you um and and value like and because of that in part because of that whatever you're giving and receiving becomes even more valuable even if it doesn't cost money do you know what i mean even if it doesn't if someone else doesn't find value in it you do 
here in your um, near future, and we just talked about that a moment ago, I won't go too deep in detail, but I would say, you know, we're entering the second week of the month, guys, right? I'm super late here, but you know, a worry, a major concern, a worry, a fear, a doubt, even depression or anxiety is gonna be whoop, wiped off the table here 100%, right? Your mind's gonna be put to ease over something, probably um, a move or relax, relaxing after a big move or making a big step into the future of your dreams here because we have some tectonic change um, leveling up next level next phase of your life literally here in um, how you see yourself but how other people see you is the two of wands right so again lots of nice fire energy someone who's willing to propel themselves independently toward the future of their dreams and goals and this is again really independent energy you do have support you always have support there's someone who's going to help you um, but this is a decision and ultimately a direction that you need to take for yourself. And then here with how you see yourself, right? Big changes, big leveling up, big opportunities, next stage for you, Saturn energy, limitations, restrictions, and so forth. But it's just about what you're capable, you know, you've exhausted everything. Everything from your past is now considered that chapter is closed and you can move on. And this is all about the next chapter. And guess what? 21 creative potential here, maybe some incoming money. Um, there could be um, really, really good news concerning a creative, even a spiritual or religious project here for you. And you go right from the world, 21, the last card in the tarot, to the very to first one, right? So you're like flippity flopping and changes straight away within this month here, guys. You're not wasting any time. Here in your hopes and fears is some creative potential. So these two might want to work together, um, energetically speaking. These aren't necessarily people, um, but they could just be part of your personality makeup or energy that's available to you in the month of June. But you know, all the same, Page of Pentacles here really is speaking about good news regarding finances, creative projects, um, investments, and I would even say your health, work, service, and um, anything that's going on in your spiritual world. You know, um, you can really feel confident and positive about that. And you can feel it. It's real. Like you can see it, touch it, feel it, right? And here are your outcome. Holy smokes, your advice card is the fool. And this is glorious energy. This is absolutely stunning, brand new, a leap of faith. So you could be starting something brand new here. Remember, the fool is speaking to your soul. So your soul might feel free after a major move, after a major um, leap or a new beginning. Um, I'm going to qualify the fool for you. I just want to find out exactly what's that speaking to. Why is the fool in the advice card for Pisces, June 2020? Qualify the fool for Pisces. Right, so it's um, and more swords and uh, sorry, more wands energy, and it's qualifying this here. So it's going to be defending something. You're going to defend a decision, defending something that you feel very, very confident about that you're on a really solid position for, but something that you might defend that's very, very close to your heart or even close to your soul could have to do with work or enterprise here as well. All right, guys, so let's get out some oracle cards for you to polish off your reading. I'm so pleased to say I don't really see any um, difficult, whoa, any difficult energy here for you, Pisces, so that's nice. Um, like I said, you have that Ten of Swords, which is technically difficult energy, but guess what? That's like 10 minutes of your life and you're over it. And, and the beautiful thing about that is that a sense of clarity is going to solve that problem anyway. And this could all have just been a process, like you had to go through this process to get to this stage, and it might have even had to do with these literal people, like people were literally in your way or holding things up or you had to wait for people, etc. But um, it doesn't seem to be the case anymore. You're in the clear and moving forward. All right, so just one more card here, guys, and then we'll polish off your reading for you. There's a lot of generosity. There's a lot of action. There's a lot of activity. There's generosity. There is cre very big creative potential. There is personal success, personal development. Uh, really, it doesn't matter what area of your life. I'm going to suggest personal development um, is going to be successful. So here we have surrender and release, signs and music. So when I see music, the card music, what I suggest here is that your messages, your spirits, guides, 
your um, healing manifestations could come from music or playing music, creating music. Pisces, you could be involved in writing or creating music or something having to do with the world of the, um, mm, the arts, um, the explorative arts, the... Um, Anything that you consider artistic, right? Anything that's practical, that, uh, you know, literary arts, ceramic arts, healing arts, um, but it's certainly music could be very healing or you could be creating, creating healing music at this time. Surrender and release is a big part of it. I see this here within uh, about 24 hours with this Ten of Swords. Like, you're just going to surrender all your problems. Um, surrender to you know, good and then release all problems. And this is going to be super, super obvious to you in like a day or so here. And then signs, I would look for like multiples of like 11, 11, um, you know, three, 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 stuff like that. But certainly signs, if you're an animal watcher, if you get signs from owls or, you know, uh, crows and stuff like that, but whatever you see signs in, it could be in the world of music as well. Um, but don't discount something, even if someone else brushes it off, if you consider it an important sign, you know, draw, draw something positive from that. So clean it up is really just about letting go of the past. It's, you know, making room, it's getting rid of those cobwebs. It's deciding what you want and what you don't want. And we do see this here, right? We see, you know, what do I want to do with what I've done, um, with my skill set so far and where do I want to take it in the future? So yeah, you could just be saying, what do I want to get rid of? Moving could be a big part of it, whether this is a physical or mental, um, or even career move for you. It could just be, you know, you're gonna let the past go, you're gonna let something go here so you can really feel free. You're gonna release yourself from those problems. Here we have teacher. Um, uh, sorry, wolf is, uh, is, wolf is teacher. I thought it was leader, but I'm just gonna double check. Not too proud. Um, I believe it's teacher. I just wanna be super, super, positive it is so we're looking at teacher and remember whenever we see an instance where there's a teacher whether it's spiritual or otherwise everyone is the teacher and everyone is the student um so um everyone you meet is going to know something you don't straight up and vice versa so don't let anyone treat you like you aren't good enough or that you don't know something um if they are treating you like that and they're not helping you level up they're not allowed you know what release bye clean it up get rid of them um, and don't treat other people like that, right? Just make sure you have a lot to offer and if someone's interested and they ask, you can teach them that and vice versa. So here we have our final cards from the Romance Angels. We have Reconciliation, which is a major theme here for you. In fact, with the Six of Cups, as I mentioned, so someone from your past is returning um, to your life. It's totally, right? With the Six of Cups, someone from your past, very special. Could be a family member, a friend, or a lover. And then you deserve love. You are lovable. I do see this show up, guys, when people are feeling pretty down about themselves sometimes or like they don't, they're not good enough for something. So we're going to lock and load and get rid of that. <laughs> um, you know, just shoot that out into the ether and get rid of that feeling, guys, because you deserve love. And it could even be on the precipice of, of being available to you. And um, it could have something to do with um, how you even see yourself. Like if once you decide you are lovable and no matter what you do, as long as you're not causing anyone any harm, you know, you can go out and receive that love as well. So Pisces, that is your reading for June, 2020. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next video for your sign. Bye for now.